What's up, guys? It's me. I'm not going to be doing what I normally do. But instead, I'm going to be showing you how I use a VR. So if you've ever watched any of my videos, you see me like go under the ground and stuff. Do that kind of stuff while raiding military bases and doing all that stuff. Like climbing like that and maybe even going like this. But I'm going to be showing you guys how to do that because I think it's pretty cool. And not a lot of people know about it, so I want to teach you how to do it. So, first thing you want to do is make sure you have Oculus Link. Oculus Link, Valve Index, anything. Uh, personally, I have Oculus Link. You need to be connected to a PC. You don't really need to be like connected by cord. You can like, do AirLink, whatever. You just need to have access to the Steam Store. I don't know if you can do it on SideQuest. There might be a way, but I personally don't know. So, I'm going to be showing you guys how I set it all up. Stuff like that. Alright, so, you're in my vision now. You can see me. Um, so, first thing you want to do is make sure you have this app or VR settings. I'll show you. Just get on the Steam store. Make sure it looks like that. Just make sure you have that. So, my settings for this are kind of weird. Um, I got Drift. So I walk with this hand, but yeah, I'll show you like all the things you can do. You can, like going to the map is what it looks like. Uh, you can go up here, and if you want to, you can even like go down flying. It looks cool, like that. Like I'm not, I'm not flying. I don't have the green rings. Just flying like that. Uh, one thing to note is when you're in your dorm room, you can go as high as you want without getting kicked out of the room. I mean, there's still boundaries. Like I'll show you. So when you go up, it's gonna bring you. Oh, I guess it doesn't. I thought it brought. I thought it brought you back, but now it doesn't. Uh, usually if you fly up, it'll just teleport you back here. But yeah. Um. So basically, I'll get right to it. OVR advanced settings. Uh, the first thing you wanna do is probably go to motion. Height toggle right here, change this input to 4 if you want to go down like this. If you want to do that, turn it to 4. It's probably the best setting. You can uh, play around with it. If you do negative, it will send you up, so that's pretty cool as well. So, um, next thing, go to bindings. This is like the most important part. This is where all you get all the bindings, all the, how you know how to do stuff. So personally, the, I'm going to start off like how you go down here. So personally, mine is the Y button. So what you point with, let's see. so what you point with. So yeah, height toggle is Y. So you, to do that, you go here. Uh, here I'll delete it. Just show you. Delete. Press this plus. Go to button. I'm lagging a bit. Go click. And then go to height toggle press this you can do this one for whatever button you, button you want but yeah just want to do like that here I'll put this I'll put this away okay so now now that you are able to do this I'm going to show you how to do this it's pretty cool um so whatever you want to do I personally have the middle finger button like the button you use to grab stuff but not the index finger button not the trigger just the other button right there i tried to do the one like the one button on the controller i'll show you that button right there or it's not really a button it's just like tracking i tried to do that but i don't really see a button for that so my next option was that was uh the middle finger button i'm not gonna do the trigger because that's how i shoot and i can't really make really military bases if i'm shooting and i'm like moving all over the place like but you can do whatever you want. Next one's nothing. I just accidentally did that. See, grip, it's held. Left hand space drag. Same thing for my right hand. Right hand space drag. And that's how you go like that. Um, if it seems to be not working, just go here, go to motion, and turn these two on. Bindings. Back to bindings. So, um, now that we know how to do this and this, 
I'm gonna show you how to go back like that. It's called reset. Reset something. I don't, I don't really know. So for me, it's my B button, my other pointing. But in this case, I I do double click because like I don't really want to like teleport back, and like I always have my index finger. I just don't like it, so I do double. Yeah. So not the wrong one. All right. Um. So yeah, E button, double, reset offsets. Yeah. Um. Now I'm gonna show you how to do this. This is probably like the hardest part. So pay attention. Um. So personally, since I don't use the joysticks, I have those joysticks. Quick gravity reverse. So yep, my left joystick is the thing that makes me go up. But if you want to go up and then like stay there, there's another button for that. That button is called gravity toggle. That this button toggles between the two gravity gravity where it makes you go up and then no gravity where you just stay there. So to do that, just go joystick or whatever button you want. Click gravity toggle. So and you can change the gravity, like how much it is. Mine's at moon right now. Uh, if you don't want to have gravity toggle on, you have to go in here and press on every single time. Uh, you can test out like the different gravities. So right now, this is moon. You go up a little bit, go down. And like if you hold it, you go as much as you want. Oops. Now I'm going to try out Jupiter. Yeah. <laughs> It's pretty crazy. You go up really fast. Mars. A little bit. Bounce. A little bit more. Earth. Go up. Go up. Go down. But I just like moon the best because it looks more realistic to fly in. You guys can do whatever you want. Another cool thing you can do is with this is if you press the height toggle button, which is the button that makes you go down, then... If you press that while you're, you have gravity, when, when your gravity toggle is on, you can go down. And then just press it again if you don't want to go down. But yeah, it's pretty cool. You can like go through the floor. And go back up. Yeah. Pretty cool. So, thank you guys for watching. Actually, I have one more thing. I have sound pad. So, if you want to make it so you have sound while you're doing this like i used to have enderman under enderman teleport when i go when like this or when i went like this so if you want that i'll show you how to do it so first thing is you're gonna have to have sound pad sound pad is really great and you should have it anyway but if you don't it's fine you can get the demo version but i would really recommend the regular version so basically you're gonna have you're gonna want to have sound I don't know where it is anyway you're gonna want to have sound pad open um go to OVR advanced settings <laughs> findings mis miscellaneous and key press misc so basically Y button or whatever button you want so in this case I wanted the Y button because it, my Y button's <laughs> awesome and gravity uh, my, not my gravity toggle, my height toggle. Uh, go to key press misc for click. And you're gonna want to set the hot key to your sound on sound pad to F9. Has to be F9. And then, when you press it, do that. You can only have one right now, unfortunately. Um, so, can't really do anything about that, but it's whatever. Um, there's one more thing, one more thing, I lied, um, there's one more thing, it's not really OVR, it's called OVR, but it's not really OVR, so it's called Daily OVR, there, oh, I got like drift and like my stuff randomly goes off, you don't have to go here, open it up, it's money, like five to ten dollars, I'm not really sure, there's also a free version, I don't know how well that does, but I got the one that costs money, just so. Uh, it's better. So, it's, it's gonna take a little bit to, yeah, it's gonna take a little bit, but it is gonna work eventually. Um, 
you can you it's very nice tool um to open it there's this little thing down here yeah press it you barely see it but you have all these options you open one here it's not gonna spawn on your left hand it's gonna spawn more like it's gonna sp it's gonna spawn like this and you can uh, figure it out for yourself I have it as sound pad is open so I can easily select the sound you just go to mouse input you can select anything you just gotta double click this away yeah so that's pretty cool as well uh, it's pretty nice you can't really see it in the mirror because it's not part of record room but it is fun to have when you are raiding just trying to have fun or DJing so yeah see you guys in the next video might be trolling you never know it's always going to be different but yeah see y'all later